Hey, Emily, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Uh, doing all right, doing all right. Oh, what are you up to later today? Uh, I'm going to give a presentation, actually, later. No way, me too. What's it for? Ethos. Oh, same here. Woo! Nice. Let's kill it. Cool. Yeah. So uh, today, I thought we could look at some orchid plants. OK. Yeah. There's a really cool feature on the petals that I'd like to focus in on. OK. Yeah, once we get to the cool, macro cool. stage. Awesome. Mm. There we go. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and take a an ambient shot here. This is going to be completely dark. We want it as dark as possible. Cool. That looks good. All right, let's go ahead and incorporate some flash into it. Okay, is the boom in a good spot? That looks good, yeah. Ooh, nice. There we go. Wow. A little bright. I'll tone that down a bit. Okay. All right, yeah, and then just so we can get kind of the shadows underneath, um, can you take the reflector and yeah. underneath there? Just right, yeah. Just right like there. right underneath it? Right there, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That looks really good. Cool. Do you have anything else that you want to highlight? Yeah. So while we're going into the macro, I'd like to focus on the bottom petal of the okay. orchid. It's called the labellum, and it kind of looks like a tongue sticking out at you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a modified petal, so it attracts pollinators. Okay. Do you want the reflector still? Yeah, let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's try and grab one. This one's kind of hiding there. Let me turn it. That looks good right there. Cool. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, you can really see it right yeah. there. Yeah. Cool. Hi, I'm Scott Conover, and I'm a photography and business major here at BSU. Hi, I'm Emily Ayers, and I'm a biology major with a botany emphasis. Have you ever seen something so beautiful that you thought, wow, I wish I could capture this in an image? Have you ever seen something so beautiful and thought to yourself, wow, I wish that the whole world could see what I see? We, we have. <laughs> In February of 2015, I started my work as an intern at the Boise State Teaching Greenhouse. On my first day, I was captivated by a very large, very disrepaired banana plant. I spent my next two weeks working on the banana plant and repairing it until the literal fruits of my labor bloomed. I was hooked. It was awesome. <laughs> I spent the next seven months doing similar work to the rest of the plants in the greenhouse, at which point, my project in the greenhouse changed. At the same time, I had been uh, looking for um, a project on, the cam on BSU campus um, in the photography discipline. Um, I found a, cool, a couple cool blogs that, um, that had this cool idea to take buildings in your area and photograph them in the best possible light. And I wanted to bring that to BSU. Um, so uh, after I found the um, greenhouse, though, I knew that's where I uh, wanted to focus. Um, I could, uh, it was perfect, I, I was able to incorporate perfect lighting and, um, and have fun there. Scott and I decided that this was the type of project that we both wanted to work on. The process that you just saw was something that we've been doing for the past seven months, and the results are the photos that you see beside us now, beautiful images of plants. These images are important, not only that they highlight the beauty of the plants, but that they highlight the unique nature that the greenhouse holds within them. For me, it was a private studio with hundreds of different subjects. I was able to adapt different lighting for different, um, different uh, plants. Um, it's a cool opportunity also because these plants are indigenous to other parts of the world, so I was able to fo photograph you know, plants that aren't here in Idaho. Um, for example, the sensitive plant. Oh, Mimosa pudica. That one. It's my favorite plant. <laughs> it's native to Central and South America. The banana plant that I talked about earlier is native to tropical areas of the world, 
We also have coffee plants, banana plants, <laughs> sugarcane plants, bamboo plants, uh, carnivorous plants, and so, so many others. This is what the greenhouse is, a place of diversity. As a move by the university to create a more diverse experience for students, the University Foundations classes have been introduced. Additionally, the College of Innovation and Design and the Bridge to Career program. One opportunity that we have yet to utilize is the greenhouse, however. So this leads to the question, why aren't the greenhouses already being used for student interactions? This is where you guys come in. There's a few key repairs that the greenhouse needs to have before it can reach its fullest capacity. Let's take a look inside the greenhouse to see what they are. There needs to be <laughs> some wiring. The wiring is in disrepair. More wiring. The heater pipe is coming off the walls. And the AC unit is literally falling out of the wall. The uh, benches are rusting from the outside in as well. And um, while these photos were pretty funny and comical, um, they really do highlight the serious nature of the repairs that need to happen. Right now, our best repair option is spray painting the tables to avoid the rust setting in sooner. Um, but the greenhouse has so much potential working at its greatest. When I see the greenhouse working at its greatest potential, I see it being a place open to all students where they can explore their passions and interests in new and exciting ways. When I see the, f the greenhouses being utilized to their fullest potential, I see photography students utilizing the space to further their understanding of lighting, composition, and color. When I see the greenhouse utilized to its fullest potential, I see it as a campus tour stop so student interests can peak before they even start university. And when I see the greenhouses being utilized to their fullest potential, I see the next Thoreau writing their next essay. <laughs> when I see the greenhouses working at their fullest potential, I see a weekend workshop class offered to students so they can engage in the greenhouses while they're already enrolled. What do you see? The end. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot what it was.